guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be introducing you to a fun new translucent backdrop. Well, we all want our model railroad or whatever kind of display you're working with to look cool. So you got to have some kind of a interesting backdrop to go with it. Some people paint them, some people buy them. Well, I generally buy them. I'm not very good at painting them. So this particular one is translucent. It's made out of some kind of weird plastic that allows light through. So I decided to make a light box, a shadow box out of it. So I started out, had some wood, put a little tempera paint on the inside. Then of course, being obsessive as I am, I pre-drilled all the hole to make the box, make it nice and rectangular. And of course I used screws to hold it together so it doesn't fall apart. I'm building for the ages here. Okay, and then you take this translucent backdrop and you staple it on in place making sure that it's nice and snug. It's fairly stiff. It's kind of a plasticky stuff. And then to make it look good, I put a trim, you might call it, on the outside. Nice wood trim on the outside. Of course, you gotta have some light on the inside. This shadow box probably would have done just fine with LEDs, but I ended up using a couple of old fluorescent fixtures that I had on hand. And then, of course, you want a box in the backs and I just used some junky old cardboard that I had laying around. And then here you go. This is what it looks like all by itself, which is a pretty nice backdrop all by itself. And then you turn on the light and all of a sudden it comes to light. This backdrop comes from a company called BackdropWarehouse.com. Once again, that's BackdropWarehouse.com. And man, it came out really nice. Okay, it won't work for everybody because you have to have a light source in the back, you have to have the room. But this plastic stuff that's translucent, I just love it. So anyway, if you guys need a new backdrop, especially one that's lighted, give this product a try. It's fun.